Creatine is everywhere, but what is it and does it work? And what are the risks and the benefits? We're gonna talk about that now. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. It's good to see you. So creatine is a naturally occurring substance that comes from three amino acids, methionine, glycine, and arginine, okay? And actually about half of our body's supply of creatine comes from our diet, which I think is interesting. Um, so we're talking about protein rich foods, things like red meat, pork, veal, and beef, seafood, as well as animal milk, okay? Now, our body makes the other half uh, of creatine naturally in our liver, our kidneys, and our pancreas. They actually deliver about 95% of the creatine to our skeletal muscles, and our skeletal muscles, of course, then use it during physical activity. Now, we're not done. The rest of it actually goes to the heart, to the brain, and other tissues. I mean, creatine goes everywhere, as you, as you can see. Now we're talking about creatine because a lot of athletes uh, and non-athletes actually use creatine supplements. Something I didn't actually know is that a lot of professional sports organizations, uh, the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, NCAA, all allow athletes to use creatine supplements. So I think that's really important to note. When we talk about creatine, we're generally talking about the specific creatine supplement called creatine monohydrate. This is the most studied version of creatine supplements. Um, it is sold in, in other formulations, but again, generally the most recommended supplement type for creatine is creatine monohydrate. So we're gonna talk about the benefits of creatine in a little bit, but just a little sort of primer on what it does and why athletes or athletic people may choose to take it is that, you know, it often aids workouts, okay? And also may help recovery. And we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. But how does it work? Okay, so when you start taking creatine, and by the way, this is according to the uh, Cleveland Clinic, most creatine goes to your skeletal muscle, which then converts creatine into a compound of creatine and phosphoric acid creating something called phosphocreatine. I know this is a big word, but this phosphocreatine then actually helps create ATP. And ATP is a source of energy. If you can think back to your science days from school, it's an energy source that our cells use when we exercise. So creatine basically helps maintain a continuous energy supply to our muscles during intense exercise. Benefits include improvement in exercise performance, uh, may help in recovery after intense exercise, uh, may help increase muscle mass, prevent sore muscle injuries, uh, may help athletes tolerate intense activity, may help reduce dehydration and cramping, may help muscle tightness, uh, etc. You know, there, there's potential side effects to any and everything. So potential side effects with creatine supplements can include things like weight gain because of the water retention that can happen with these supplements. Also, some people may feel dizzy or have headaches or feel uh, they have nausea or vomiting or even diarrhea. Uh, hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating is a side effect that's listed by the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, there's potentially other side effects as well. And understand these supplements are not for everyone. Also understand that supplements are not closely regulated necessarily in this country. So it's something you have to be very thoughtful of. Uh, but according to Up to Date, which is a medical resource I use a lot, up to 30% of people may not actually respond to creatine supplementation and may not increase their muscle creatine stores. So I think that's really important to, to take note of. You know, what I would say is that if creatine is something that you want to take or in, are interested in taking, you need to talk with your doctor because again, there are some people who should not take this. I would also recommend talking to a nutritionist, somebody who really understands dosing and supplements and things like this and really can give you some guidance. Uh, right below, if you take creatine, right if it's helped you, etc. But this is one of the reasons why we're seeing out there on the Google Spoogler, why people are taking it, etc. Let me know what you do, what you take, um, if it's been helpful. I'm, I'm actually curious. Remember also, you can overdo things too. So more is usually not better with most things, including this. Ask your doctor if this is right for you, if you want to take it. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, honor health expert, and video creator. I do daily videos on everything, uh, including creatine. Uh, please uh, follow my channel on YouTube. Subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. Also subscribe to my uh, free health newsletter at drjencottle.com.